Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This one is going to be very creative, but also um, I have an inspiration for today's look. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm a massive fan of RuPaul's Drag Race. And for those of you who watched season 12, wow, what a season. I don't want to give any spoilers away. But today's look is inspired by one of those queens, uh, Dahlia Sin. They've just done their reunion. I just watched it today. Obviously, it comes later in the UK. So I watched that today and I was inspired by her eye look. It was beautiful. She had a lovely winged liner, really big lashes, and just a pop of a lovely blended pastel blue. And I was, that was it. I was inspired. I was like, right, I'm filming that look today. So that's what I'm aiming for. If I can find a picture of it, I'm gonna add, include it into my thumbnail so you guys can have a look and see what inspired me in the first place. Um, I'm gonna go and chuck my face on, as you can see. The sun's got the better of me. So not only have we had really beautiful sun in the UK, but we've also had really strong winds the past few days with sun. So that's completely given my uh, skin a run for its money. And uh, as you can see, I'm quite tanned in different places. So I'm gonna go and chuck my face on, my, well, my base, and uh, I'll catch you in a bit. <laughs>
I'm back, back, back again. <laughs> Love it. So um, I've set my base, as you can see, foundation and concealer and contour is all set. I had to, f I found it quite difficult because um, I'm pasty as anything in the winter. Uh, and surprisingly I tan for a ginger, so I don't really, uh, it's a bit of a weird one. So, um, and especially with e-commerce brands like Juvia's Place, you can only mainly get it online in the UK and with Jeffree Star, can't get them in store yet. I'm waiting for the day and that we can get it online, uh, online? get it uh, in store because they're e-commerce brands. Look at me, e-commerce. So um, it's quite difficult. So I always like a concealer that brightens. So that's why uh, my concealer is very, seems very white um, compared to what would be my shade. My favorite thing at the moment is to pair up the Urban Decay Cosmetics all, all Nighter concealer and then put in a more brightening one on top. I find that it gives a more really, oh, just airbrushed look, which looks fantastic. But yeah, so I've set my base. I mixed my normal foundation um, with the Stargazer Pro Paint Sticks. If you don't have them yet, just get them. They're absolutely fantastic. Um, flesh is a bit is a bit dark for me when I'm not tanned, but mixing it with a bit of my contour shade, Soft Copper, that really bought my colour, so it doesn't really look like I'm too pasty. I mean, I'm still pasty, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> I look less pasty than normal. So um, that's my base done, and I'm going to go on to my eyes, which are going to be inspired by um, Dahlia Sin. I found a beautiful shade from my, this is an old one, Urban Decay Cosmetics Alice in Wonderland palette. I'm going to go with the shade Metamorphosis, this beautiful blue here. I wanted to try and do a different shade, like a different colour, but can we really find a matte shade and it's all about having a matte shade in, in the corner that's like the essence of it if you have a shimmer it doesn't have the same effect because it reflects in different lights so i'm going to go for that shade and let's see what happens
all finished. So off camera, I just finished off my contour and highlight and things like that. I will put the products down in the comments. Um, I really enjoyed this one. Dahlia's look was so inspirational that I had to, it just gave me like a little ding in my brain. I had to do it. Obviously, I can't get the exact colours that she used. The Metamorphosis from Alice in Wonderland is a beautiful colour. Obviously, a bit darker than um, what Dahlia used on her eyes. I really enjoyed this one. Um, I got it. I hope I got it pretty all right, pretty exact. But, um, no, really enjoyed it. So, guys, I hope you're all keeping safe out there still in this lockdown. Sending lots of love to you and your families out there. And, um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Have a lovely bank holiday weekend. For those not in the UK, just have a lovely weekend, all right? So, take care. Lots of love. See you on the next one.